Good morning. It's that time again. Uh, it is super rainy. I just crossed the Ohio Ohio River into Ohio, and uh, I'm ready to stretch my legs and get a little break from driving. I left at like six o'clock in the morning today. I'm so excited. I'm going to spend the next couple days shopping the heart and uh, hanging out with the burners. But in the meantime, let's go into Lucky Finds Antiques and hopefully get lucky. What a cute little Christmas display they have. This is the first one that catches my eye, 24 on him. That's a great deal for a collector. And uh, 29 for three of the little rubber elves. That's a good deal too. I have a few of those right now. Of course, they're all gonna go on Black Friday. Uh, I'm using this trip to look for the uber unique. I always look for the super unique, but I'm trying to be very selective as uh, I'm creating this giant puzzle that revolves around one day of the year and 500 items. <laughs> Can't help but notice the Fenton Santa here in Carnival. That's gorgeous. 75 on that one. It says vintage. I'm looking for the Fenton stamp. I know we're right next to Mosser. It's a really nice one. Mosser now owns the mugs. Oh my gosh, I was going to say, look at this, the shopper girl. That's a really hard to find uh, planter. Um, if it had, the, I think this is the same one that has the chain with the poodle. And the last one I sold that had the poodle sold for like $125. Some fun stuff here. I love the little teenage girl and uh, the Fenton Owl Fairy Lamp. I'm very interested in this case. I feel like last time I was here, I pulled out all kinds of neat stuff from here. All kinds of glass. But again, we're looking for that stuff that really stands apart, unless it's like a crazy good deal and we can't resist. Look at this paperweight with the facets. Murano, that's gorgeous. That's at 85. And then I see some head vases in here. Ooh, I see something at the end, but in the meantime, look at the little cat pen holder. I'm gonna, yeah, that's Fitz and Floyd Japan made to look like Staffordshire. $20 on that is actually a really good deal, I'd say at least for a collector, but it's this, this uh, blue Burmese. That is a gorgeous piece of Fenton, 120 on that one. Well, I was attempting to go in my normal order but a few things stuck out to me. <laughs> the face mug is insane. But uh, here, look at this little Boyd's. Well, it's all kinds of different makers, but mostly Boyd's. Oh my gosh, look at the little rabbit on the nest. I've never seen that before. It's a beautiful one, hand painted. I am dead obsessed with this old display cabinet. The wood on that is gorgeous. And the pur it's the purple, purple lining for me that just really does it. So regal. What originally caught my eyes uh, were the L's, the little knee huggers, but then I saw this table lighter. That is really cool. It almost looks like it could be Italian. Uh, it's got some chips on the bottom and uh, no markings. Really neat piece though. The epic of the bedpan. <laughs> wow, that's different looks like some things have moved around since I've been here last. I want to say the last time I was here was in April. Oh, they have a new uranium display here. Let's check this out. I'm looking for this piece of, well, I already said that. That's really pretty more common, but I remember the prices here being really decent. Now this is what we're talking about. Look at that, that's gorgeous. That's an early piece. Also noteworthy is this very strange terracotta piece. I'm going to be proactive and uh, grab a basket here. What is this? Oh my god. Dude, is this what I think it is? I think it is. Tall Nouveau art glass vase hand painted it's insane that's in one piece that is a crazy crazy piece the question is do i want to ship it because the price is unbelievable actually unbeatable if i may so myself 
um, that's a really nice one. And then below it, probably European. Now this is super weird. Alien creature paperweight, five dollars. It's kind of cat esque. It's definitely strange. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up for five dollars because it's just so weird. This booth always has such cute displays. The first thing I notice is this planter. Looks like early Napco, maybe. 29. Mm, I see a California sticker, actually. That's different. That must be before they uh, started making the Japanese version. That's cool. I like the looks of this case. See some a lot of Viking. And uh, the Fenton Owl, that's at 105. I actually have one kind of like that for the owl sale. Oh, I love the Burmese piece. And then in here, is this gonna be locked? It is. I was looking at that purple five finger. Ooh, and look at that Bakelite clamper. That's gorgeous too. This is a really interesting nook. What is happening there? Oh, it's like a glass jack in the pulp, uh, like an epern horn that they put in a metal flower. At first, I thought that was all glass underneath there. Very Beauty of the Beast esque, I should say. Um, hmm. Looking for that thing that stands out. That's a nice Ally Smith. Some milk glass, a green four square. That's a good one. Holy cow, that's a steal at $69. Kind of moving away from a lot of the mid-century glass, unless it's like a piece. Well, unless it's really, really well priced. It kind of is, but this is, this is more my speed. Let's be honest, Plastic Santa. Um, behind it, this is, I feel like I looked at this last time. It's really gorgeous. And I remember they have a lot of great cats at this uh, antique mall. <gasps> oh my God, look at that. I have never seen that. Um, the McCoy smiley face paperweight. That is so cool. $50 on that. What is this pig thing? No candy, stop it right <laughs> I can't. I can't with that. That is so epic. <laughs> What's happening with this little elf thing? Oh, it's a Boyd's clown. I thought it was an elf glued to a Boyd's tray. I should have known better. Um, ooh. I love the way this booth is displayed. Some creepy Santas. Uh, it's Christmas staple, if I may so myself. Now that's amazing. Cambridge. And I always love the gla glossy Burmese. It's harder to find. I feel like I usually just see satin. That one's only 40 bucks. But it's a basket. Baskets don't do as well. Although I, somebody pointed out I've been on a real basket run recently. Love the little reindeer. 45 for the set. You're a collector, that's a steal for sure. I know a lot of people aren't into clowns, but I used to love Bozo. And then you have the witch rattle, 75. That's fantastic. Well, this cat is new, but he's really fabulous. Oh, behind me is uh, a little cat nook. Again, a lot of contemporary ones, some vintage mixed in. Wow, there's a lot going on back here. I love the little dog salt and pepper shakers. So kitschy. I gotta be honest, so far that is by far the best thing I've seen in here. No way. I remember seeing these at uh, Springfield Antique Center, only 49 on that one. That's a bargain. I wish it was the poodle one. What is this elephant? He's got a different look about him. Made in China. He's very neat though, different. Almost had me with that. Speaking of different, this is probably contemporary, but it's very cool. Seven dollars. There's a little signature in that. Now that's neat. CCB. That's very cool. I think for seven dollars, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. It's got a really unique look to it, and it's kind of hard to buy and sell wall art a lot of the times. 
um, a lot of times it's ending up being oversized or the frames coming apart or something but I like the size of this and um, it's a really cool looking butterfly or a moth maybe which is even cooler in my opinion well always a fun stop uh, I'm gonna hop next door to the route 40 antique and flea market which I rarely go to because um, that lucky day opens at 9 and they don't open till 11 I'm usually leaving not going when I'm headed this way but anyway without further ado let's go in and get dry here's something that immediately caught my attention the miniature milk glass vases the minis are not easy to find 15 and then this is really pretty 2850 the something off about the color on that though um Man, that's really awesome. If it was any other color, I would have jumped for joy, but I kind of feel like the milk glass has lost its uh, popularity a little recently. And oh, that's not what I gasped at. Holy cow. The Josef Originals Bobby Pin Box. 2000 Dankin, though. Yeah, that's a remake. Oh my gosh, I just got so excited. And then it's, um, it's still a great, great item, but not exactly what I'm looking for. Some really pretty jack in the pulpits, all on the more common side. I just had one, so I'm going to keep going. Here's another thing that's not usually that popular. It's cruets, but this cruet and salt and pepper barware set, like in the little bar tray, is fantastic in the hand-painted blendo. That's only 38 a really nice nook of pottery here. Not surprising because we're in Zanesville. Um, the holy cat bottle is fantastic at 85. So, wow, amazing Murano uh, Venetian glasses there. The pumpkin is different. Or it's an apple, excuse me. That looks to be Italian for sure. That one's at 65. That's a steal for a collector. It's actually this piece up here, this Victorian piece. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uranium, that's amazing. That's at 75. That is so pretty. And the peach blow, I don't think, yep, there you go. That's amazing, but I really like the one with the feet. And the apple, that's amazing too. That decanter is something different as well. That's $50. I'm really attracted to that, but I think it's just a little close for me for resale. A Humpty Dumpty in a beautiful bowl. Looks like a bride's bowl, maybe. I will say, um, on any given day, I might have... Oh, look at the parrot. That's so fun. I would have uh, picked up either the apple or the Victorian uh, uranium piece. Even though I wouldn't have been able to double my money, I still would have made a couple bucks of it. But I have a very specific agenda today. This is so strange. Super into it. This is a really nice display in this booth. Love this uh, orange hull. Some paperweights, all Chinese. That's a pretty one. Is that Roseville? Weller. That's really nice. 68 on that and more milk glass lots of fenton doesn't surprise me looking for something that does surprise me that's a really pretty vase too unusual 50 dollars on that one well i just didn't see it in there today but that's all right i'm gonna get back in the car continue to head west and I'll see you guys at wherever I may end up next. Here I am in rainy Columbus, Ohio. Well, I'm already recognizing dealers from uh, the heart. It's an amazing charm bracelet. There's our second epic find. Uh, the case behind me, I can't show you what I was looking at because it's really risque. But this is an amazing Lundberg. That's at 325. Side note, I must say the uh, Lundberg with the stars are my favorite. Now, I see these really strange, maybe salt and pepper shakers back there with the faces, and I love the little pixies. Um, this is a really good one. Unfortunately, it is repaired, which is why it's $8. Interesting pottery face back there as well. Now, back here, I hope you can hear me. The music is definitely aggressive in here. 
that tile with the faces on it is $24. I might take a look at that. That's really unique. Also at $24, look at these enamel over copper wall arts. Those are amazing. I'm curious. I guess it's $24 each. I might get into this case. I'm curious what the one underneath. Yeah, that's really different. I'm going to look in here. Now I grabbed those uh, fabulous enamel over copper wall plaques. I'm looking at the poodles back there. This is a really pretty set. I'm assuming it might be Turkish. And then look at the tiny, tiny glass deer and dog. Those are so sweet. And the giraffes back there, those are made in Japan. More little Japanese animals. That's unusual. Copper face, is it copper? Wall mask, $20, that's super fun. I love all the miniatures in this case. Uh, I definitely see the Hagen Renegar Dragon as is $8, I was gonna say. That's a super uh, scarce one that sells for super good money. It's missing its, I'm not sure what's going on with it actually. What is wrong with it? Oh, it's missing a wing still. And then back there, it looks like it's as is to the little glass birds on a branch. Oh my gosh, look at this freaking ornament set. Made in Italy. That is so neat. I've never seen ones like that before. All right, couple things going on here too. The terracotta wall hook with the face on it is different, but it's really this bird. Or Tarot Regal Pottery signed $16. I'm super into that. I'm definitely gonna pull that out. And then here I see a moon and stars paperweight that's only $10. I love the little penguin tray in the back too. That is so different. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get into this case. Holy cow, look at those opera glasses with the enamel painting. Those are amazing. And who could forget this case of pixies? I recognize this dealer from the heart. So far, the only things I've bought have come from him, although I'm waiting to get into that showcase. There's some really interesting things. I'm most interested in this, what I think is the soldier pin back there. If that is what I think it is, it might be as is, but it's only $10. Those are kind of hard to come by. I'm really into all these little buttons. I'm gonna look in this case as well. Look at the, um, it's kind of hard to show off. It's kind of crowded. Look at the uh, sailor pin. That is so neat. Oh man, look at that. That is gorgeous. That's got great color in it couple really unique postcards in here. This one with the cutouts definitely struck my attention. And I'm completely unfamiliar with this Santa Claus, $100 firm sign. That is very unusual. Nicodemus. I feel like I've heard of that before. I've just never really seen it. Down here, this is an amazing little collection of uh, early celluloid brooches. Don't see anything that's Bakelite in there. I see things that commonly get mistaken for Bakelite, but uh, some really cute ones. 189 on the box, a lot going on in this case. The first thing I see is the little Murano apple. That's only $25. And then above it, they have some poodles, pink spaghetti poodles. That's an interesting vase back there. This is an interesting booth. I love the pin cushion doll. She's a 38. And I used to have one of these, these old medical spinal displays. Hey, look at that owl bag hanging back, hiding back here, $10. That is spectacular. It almost looks like a need Collins, though I don't think it is, because it would be signed. I think it's just a hobbyist one. It's got a little damage, but 10 bucks, that's pretty epic. This is a fun booth. All kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> I like the fish. Uh, but it's over here in this case that really got my attention. I see the ARs and the chalkware skunk. Very fun. Hmm. 
Looking for that thing that stands out. What is this dish? It's kind of dark back here. That's kind of fun. Yeah, probably like a, for sushi or Japanese food. This little number, that's gorgeous. That's Murano. At least it looks like it. Here is some swung glass. All about where it needs to be. Really pretty display though. Well, this is definitely contemporary, but he's pretty fabulous. Glass fire bobbling owl vase. Love that. 30 on that. Another really pretty display booth. That's nice. The lighting's doing it justice in here, I'll tell you that. I love all the little Italian stuff. That stuff doesn't sell as well as it used to. Uh, which is funny, because other Italian stuff I feel like has gone up. Here we go. Talk about kitsch. Check out these guys, the red polka dot bow tie. That's adorable, Japan, $25. There's a day where that used to sell for triple that. Oh my God, what is this? Louisville Stoneware Pottery Cat. Dude, what? It weighs like 100 pounds, but it's spectacular. If that didn't weigh quite as much as it did, I would definitely be taking that with me. Looks like Costa Boda hiding back here. Let's see what it says. $16.99. I don't know if it's well done enough, actually. Made to look like Costa Boda, I'd say. This perfume bottle caught my attention. $40. That's really interesting with the texture. It is signed. It's kind of dark, so I can't make it out. Something Stone, 1989. And we all know Ohio has the best owls. <laughs> My favorite is actually these, uh, this uh, hobbyist one. I know it's contemporary, most of these are, but that's really got great character. What's that vase hiding over here? Uh, Eckholt, 178. Really pretty, but not for resale. It's unique. I love that kind of. I like the Eckholt vases more than I like the paperweights, honestly. I like the more dainty, Eckholt stuff. Well, this piece stuck out. FRG hand-blown vase. $13. That's really pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Oh my gosh, how fun is he? The cuss box. $16. That's actually a pretty good deal on him. That would have been perfect for Oktoberfest. That's a particularly pretty Fenton Jack in the Pulpit. That's only 65. That's actually a pretty good deal for a collector. And then I see a little Viking in there, 75 on that. This booth is pretty chaotic and I'm super here for it. That's a fun little change, change pouch. The uh, snowman blow mold. Look at all that's happening around me. It's completely chaos. <laughs> I love it. And like a birthday cake pinata. Clearly, the bear, bear was the first thing that caught my attention, but then I saw this Goodyear sign. That thing is amazing. It looks like double-sided, too. Not gonna mess with it too much since it's $3,000. This green is gorgeous. I think that's gonna be an import, though. What do we have here? Think big. Wow, she's fabulous. That's an older one, $5.50. I'll take that. That's so fun. <laughs> Hiding in the corner here, this little oil cloth chick. That is adorable. The condition is really good on that. 35 though, that's about retail. Ooh, and I love this uh, glass wall pocket. Getting ready to check out, but check out this cat. He's fabulous, 22 on that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Set of three, $42.99. Dang, that's like kind of close. Oh, I love the one with the rhinestone eyes. All right, well, that was Heritage Square. Uh, I'm gonna get in the car and get back on the road and head to the heart. I'll see you guys there.